I've got two huge topics I want to talk to you guys about today on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. As you guys can see right here, coming up on today's show, I am your host, Allie Barefoot, and there's a possible wide receiver one that could be literally about to be traded from a championship contending team. Could the Patriots end up trading for him? We're going to talk about that in just a few moments. On the back half of this show, there's a possible former Patriots DB that had, may have hinted at possibly making a return to New England. Could Elliot Wolf bring back that DB as well as a wide receiver one to this roster? Well, let's go on ahead and get into it. First things first, if the Patriots do make a trade to their roster, if they end up making a pickup, if they sign somebody, if they release somebody, does not matter if they make a move, we make a video or a short about it. That way you guys know everything about your favorite New England football team. Hit that sub button, that way you guys are not left out. All right, of course we're talking about Brandon Ayuk. Everybody's talking about Brandon Ayuk. Why? Because I woke up and the first thing I do in the morning is I check Twitter. And I saw that Brandon Ayuk posted a video of him FaceTiming Jaden Daniels, the quarterback for the Commanders, pretty much saying, they don't want me. And we know that he has been holding out with the 49ers right now. He's already up to $100,000 in fines because he wants to be one of the highest paid wide receivers in the NFL. Here is his exact quote that he posted on that video that now is going viral and everybody's talking about, could Brandon Ayuk leave the 49ers? He said, they said they don't want me back. I swear. And he posted this video of the conversation with Jaden Daniels on Twitter, on TikTok, all over the platforms. And it was pretty intriguing because I'm going to believe Brandon Ayuk. Why would you go out there and say they said they didn't want me back? I swear if that was not a real conversation that you had. And we know because of this holdout, the trade rumors have been pretty stable with Brandon Ayuk. But since this video came out, now I'm sitting here, my wheels are turning, and I'm like, could New England really do it? Here's what Jeremy Fowler said on the latest information on the Brandon Ayuk 49er situation. The ESPN analyst said they're going to see what happens over the next six weeks leading into training camp. The 49ers want Ayuk long-term in the fold, but so far they have not been willing to show that they're going to meet the market of a wide receiver, which we're seeing these massive numbers. As you guys know, Justin Jefferson really put that number on the map there, but the Patriots did already try to target Ayuk at the draft, so this has been a long-time wide receiver one the last couple of months that Elliot Wolf and the Patriots front office has been like, dude, we got to go out and get him, because I told you guys this in my last video where I posted about possibly going after somebody like C.D. Lamb. Because the Patriots have nearly $45 million of cap space, and they have no wide receiver one. But we do know that Elliot Wolf a while ago did say that he plans on possibly putting out a trade for a wide receiver one. The only thing that makes me really intrigued to see why a WR1 would want to come to the Patriots without a QB1 is what's been keeping me up at night. I just think with the Brissett, with the May... I think everything is so developmental right now that it's going to be very hard to compete with other teams who are going to want Brandon Ayuk. Because surprise, surprise, he is going to be a hot commodity here for the New England Patriots, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, for the Washington Commanders, and even for the 49ers after they just recently paid Christian McCaffrey, despite them now supposedly saying, we do not want you back. The Patriots, however, are not completely out of the running, despite not having a wide receiver one or QB one and a lot of new moving parts here in this franchise. Bet you has put out this graphic a while back talking about Brandon Ayuk's next team if it's not with the 49ers. Like I said, plus 200, the Pittsburgh Steelers would be actually a very good landing spot here for Brandon Ayuk. Then you got the Carolina Panthers. They're also struggling with a really good quarterback right now in Bryce Young. But, I mean, his top target is Adam Thielen right now. Then you got the New England Patriots here, goes down to the Cardinals, and then the Los Angeles Chargers. This obviously came out before he talked to Jaden Daniels, the commander's quarterback, so that could also be another possible landing space here for Brandon Ayuk. But like I said, he's going to be a hot commodity if the 49ers ever openly say we are willing to trade Brandon Ayuk. But once again, it's Brandon Ayuk's words versus the 49ers' words because now he's saying they do not want me back, I swear. You're going to have to give up a couple of draft picks here if the Patriots do decide to trade for Brandon Ayuk, who is set to make about $14 million in his fifth year with the 49ers. Here's a possible trade idea, which I personally do not think this is too much to be giving up for a real young 
wide receiver one that could really help Drake May or Jacoby Brissett absolutely flourish this year in terms of offense. I think if you put Brandon Ayuk right now in the wide receiver room, the Patriots have just completely elevated their chance to be successful in the regular season. Like I said, Patriots will receive Brandon Ayuk. The 49ers will receive two second-round picks, 2025 and 2026. This is actually less than what somebody like CeeDee Lamb would cost to bring to the Patriots via a trade. Now my question comes back to you guys, and I think I'm going to know the answer to this because it's pretty obvious. Should the Patriots trade, trade for wide receiver Brandon Ayuk? Absolutely 110% yes. Will the 49ers be willing to trade him to the Patriots? It'll be pretty interesting, but I do think that the Patriots are probably the last of the 49ers' worries ever facing them in the Super Bowl. So with that being said, type Y for yes, type N for no. Also, I do want to let you guys know that Fanatics has this great deal going on right now. A Patri Patriots, a Patriots hat and shirt combo right now, 40% off. This deal will not last forever, so I want you guys to be able to get the utmost out of your money and everything to wear this summer and this fall. Like I said, Patriots hat and shirt combo, 40% off. I mean, you could wear this as an outfit alone. Put a little khaki shirt, shorts on there. Put a little New Balances on. I mean, you got to fit right here. And if you guys want this deal, go to chatsports.com slash New England combo. It sounds like you guys are ordering at the local dock. You're going to get a nice little lobster roll or something if you're putting the New England combo on it. Then it's going to be a good deal. Patriots hat, shirt combo. I think this is great. Get it for anybody in your life or get it for yourself. Just one more time, use that link. And if you guys cannot remember, because I can't, it'll be under this video in the comment section, chatsports.com slash New England Combo. All right, let's go ahead and switch gears now to the defensive side of the ball. Is Stephon Gilmore coming back to the Patriots? I made a video about this a long time ago because Gilmore has also reiterated, hey, I would love to go play for the Cowboys again. I would love to go play for the Patriots again. This is kind of what happens when guys enter free agency. They start reminiscing, and they're like, oh, yeah, I would love to go play for those guys again. Well, now he's a free agent. So Gilmore actually recently spoke out at Tom Brady's Hall of Fame ceremony for the Patriots. He was in attendance with several other former players with Tom Brady, and he actually discussed whether or not a possible reunion could be an actual thing. Well, here's what Mike Kandlick had to say here during the Tom Brady Her Hall of Fame ceremony. He said, Stephon Gilmore was asked by Bar Barstool Sports if he could return to the Patriots. And he responded, you never know. And I do understand that being a free agent, you know, I guess you don't really ever know until the offer does end up in front of you here. But Gilmore had such a great experience with the Patriots until he got injured and then ended up going to the Carolina Panthers. But here's what you guys should know on the latest of Stephon Gilmore in case you guys are like, oh, where's that guy been? Well, he is 33 years old, and no, he is not in his prime defensive player of the year type of physical shape anymore, in my opinion, but he is still producing 17 games for the Dallas Cowboys last season. That was the last team he was with before entering free agency. And as we all know, he's a two-time first-team All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowler, and the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year. If you sign Stephon Gilmore, this will increase your depth chart by 100% when it comes to production. Here's why. Because I've always said I think the Patriots do need at least one more solid cornerback there with Christian Gonzalez. The good news is, is that as you guys can see right under CB1 in that depth chart there, Alex Austin has been making a name for himself in OTAs and in minicamp. But it's not the real thing just yet. They don't even have pads on. It's just shells and helmet. We know what Stephon Gilmore can do. And I think bringing Stephon Gilmore in with somebody like Christian Gonzalez will take that veteran mindset and will also increase your productivity in the secondary for the Patriots almost instantly. And that's 17 games played last season for the Cowboys. We just played four games with Christian Gonzalez because he got injured. This is also a little bit of injury insurance. If you were to add somebody where you know you're going to get production, maybe not DPOY production, but still 33 years old for a secondary player, you can still put up some numbers here and provide a little bit of expertise to Gonzalez and possibly even Alex Austin, who's been making a name for himself so far in the offseason. With that being said, would you resign Stefan Gilmore? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say S for sign. If you guys don't agree with me, that's okay. That's why we have this channel. You know, you don't have to necessarily agree with me on everything that I say, but if you guys don't, type P 
for pass. I love Gilmore. No, he's not 2019 type of player that he was, but I do think I would love to see him potentially end his NFL career with the Patriots, which could be coming in the next couple of years. So I'd say, why not add some veteran expertise and add a little bit more to that depth chart as well. If you guys want the latest on your New England Patriots, anything that happens with Brandon Ayuk, Stephon Gilmore, or any of the other NFL names out there, go on ahead, hit that sub button for me. That way you guys know everything about the New England Patriots.